What is up everybody, it's your boy Slumpistana. I'm coming at y'all with a new video review. Today we're reviewing a game called Bit Trip Runner. This game recently came out on the PC. It's a rhythm type uh, platforming, not fully platforming, but rhythm type game. Uh, it, it follows your character as he maneuvers from left to right on a 2D plane and you have to uh, maneuver through these obstacles while utilizing different abilities uh, and different movements that you kind of gather as you play through the game. Uh, so let's just hop right into it. And you know how I like to do. I like to talk about some of the things that I don't like up front so that we can, we can you know, get that out the way and get the negativity out the way. And we can start to gush over the game and uh, you know the things that we that we enjoy so the first thing and uh, I realize this right out the gate it, it is very nice that this game has keyboard and mouse support but do not play this game on mouse and keyboard I'm warning you right now consider this your final warning because it's just not worth it um, it, it doesn't doesn't play very well when you're playing on mouse and keyboard. Um, but after I plugged in my Xbox controller, synced it right up, uh, I didn't even have to play through some of the previous levels so that I can learn what the buttons were. I just kind of fiddled with it. And after a couple of runs, uh, I was off and running, and, and the game felt amazing. Uh, and secondly, and this is my, I, my only other con, because... I really, really enjoyed this game more than I really, really thought that I was going to. Uh, was the music variety? I, I just don't feel like there's much variety in the music. Uh, being, and, and I feel like that's a big thing because of the type of game it is. Because you're going to be retrying levels a lot. You're going to be doing runs over again. There's a lot of dying and repeating and doing the same thing over and over and over again until you get the timing down and what, and so on and so forth. And uh, hearing that same music and not and not changing up, even going from level to level, is a little bit annoying and bothersome. And that was something that uh, immediately clicked in my head. Like, man, what is? I, I would love to hear something different. But uh, you know, the first high, and, and it probably also does not help that you die so much. Uh, but let's go ahead and start talking about some of the positives, man. Let's get them right on out the way. And like I said, this game is very challenging. You're going to die a lot, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. But while that is the case, it is still fun. You still, it's not like you're dying and you're dying and you're getting frustrated. And it's, it's well, you are getting frustrated. But it's not like it's a, uh, I don't know really how to explain it. But it's still a fun time trying to, to nail the rhythm, you know, to, to the beat. Or, you know, to, 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 to try to decide, do I want to duck under this or do I want to do whatever or do I want to jump over this or do I want to blast out the way or you know or, or kick it out the way or anything like that you know there's and that, that that brings me to my next point is that there are obstacles throughout these levels that you're that you're maneuvering through but not every obstacle has to be taken down or overcame the, the same way and that's something that I found out early and I thought that that was really cool because it it adds a little bit of a wrinkle because sometimes I will, you know, I'll, I'll push the wrong button, uh, not what I'm trying to do, and it still works sometimes. And uh, I feel like that adds just a little bit of a, uh, a cool gameplay wrinkle that, you know, when I run through the level the first time and when I run through the second time, I can do it completely different and still reach the end. Um, and another thing that I really enjoyed when, when I first started playing the game, it and rang in my head, I was like, I don't know how they're gonna do boss fights or if there's gonna be boss fights, so on and so forth, but those are really, really fun. They remind me of, uh, they put me in the feel of a, like a Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now it's totally different games, but the feel of fighting the boss and the way it looks and the way it's on the screen and the way the music changes, it gives me that same vibe as playing Sonic 1, 2, and 3 and fighting the boss at the end of the, at the end of the zone that you're in. And uh, that it, it has you looking forward to those engagements at, at the end of the game. And the color and the, the graphic style of this game is beautiful. Um, and it all comes together and it makes, it makes it a really fun experience. 
Like, there are a lot of colors on the screen. The game runs flawlessly, very uh, very responsive, which is very important in a game like this that has to do with rhythm and timing and, uh, you know, uh, rec- recognizing the different, the different obstacles that are coming on the screen. Uh, and there are different difficulties. And <laughs> I quickly had to... Uh, knock mine down a little bit but you know and it it just makes it a a lot more accepting because it is a very difficult game but if it is too difficult for you you can dial back the difficulty and that does help a lot um and it just you, you have the ability to go back and play the levels that you've already played and you also have the ability to create your levels which i'm not much of a creator when it comes to Like video, like in Mario Maker and stuff like that. I've never been one to use a creator. Um, I I just want to play, you know, the 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 levels or maybe other people's. So I don't really have much to say about that part of the game, the level maker, because that's not something that I was completely interested in. But as far as the rest of the game, I completely recommend it. Uh, I I've I've put a lot of time into it a lot more time than I thought that I was going to want to put into it and when you're pleasantly surprised by a game that you weren't it wasn't even on your radar it, that's always a, a really really great thing uh, if I'm rating it out of 10 I'm definitely giving it a 9 out of 10 it like I said it was a pleasant surprise it's something that you can turn on run, do a couple of runs uh, it's something that you can get lost in and play for an hour or two you know you could just you can get lost in it and, and and just play for five to ten minutes you know it's one of those games that has a lot of flexibility uh even for the simple the simple nature of it, it is kind of addicting um but yeah this, like i said this game came out of nowhere flew under the radar and i i feel like i'm gonna give this the hidden gem stamp and I'm going to recommend that you all check it out. It is on Steam. I'm going to put that information in the description below. Don't forget to like and comment. Have you played this game? And if you have, tell me if you like it or not. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Get notified whenever we post new content. And on that, I'm going to catch you all later.